cross product application determine a unit vector that is perpendicular to both vector a and b now any vector perpendicular to two given vectors can be found easily with the help of cross product right so let's say that the unit vector is c that is perpendicular to both a and b that means c should be equals to vector a cross vector b that is what it is now to make it a unit vector we need to divide it by whatever you get here right so this is a vector not a unit vector remember that so i've seen sometimes students will start with cross product and leave the answer as such but the important thing here is to really understand that it is determine a unit vector right so unit vector is important the magnitude has to be one unit right anyway let's start with cross product at least a cross b so there are many ways to do it we can use determinant formulas and the other right so i'll write them in rows because i find students finding it very convenient two seven three my preference is determinants but i'll go with the students and minus one two two and end with the center number correct and so a cross b is truly equals to this is the i component which is this times this which is minus 4 minus of this which would be plus 7 right and that's the i component and then we have plus the j component 7 times 2 is 14 minus 2 times 3 is 6 and we get the j component right and then the k component okay we written k here these are my unit vectors i j k which is minus 3 and minus of minus becomes plus 4 right so now I can get the i is 3i and here we get 14 minus 6 is how much is 8 right 8j and then minus 3 plus 4 is minus plus k so that is what we get right so this is our vector c and it's not a unit vector to find unit vector c we have to divide it by the magnitude of c right so what is the magnitude of c now find magnitude of c magnitude will be 3 square plus 8 square plus 1 square correct now this is equals to square root of now 3 square is 9 8 square is 64 plus 1 so 10 plus 64 is square root of 74 so that is what it is right now 74 square root so the unit vector is therefore equals to so let's write down here this is our answer right unit vector perpendicular perpendicular unit vector so normally i write perpendicular unit vector like this it means perpendicular unit vector it is the vector c divided by the absolute value of c which we calculated here so this is equals to 1 over square root of 74 times we can write like this also or we can write like this 3 8 and 1 right so that is that is the answer so at times you may like to write it over 3 over square root of 74 also right so you could have written this as as sometimes like this also 3 over square root of 74 8 over square root of 74 comma 1 over square root of 74 that's it right so i hope you understand the method right my emphasis is mainly on method i do a lot of calculation mistakes while i'm doing all this and pardon me for those mistakes but the idea is that i'm trying to explain you the method here right so it's a cross product application whenever you want to find anything perpendicular to two given vectors let us say a cross b so in this particular case let's say a is like this and b is like that then a cross b if, if i'm saying is like this right so moving like this means vector which is normal to this will be the unit vector and that is a cross b right and it is coming out of the page so we will write no direction with this if I, if i'm writing it. but anyway that gives you direction i j k and we'll say normal to the page here that's kind of important to say this coming out right so in this case 
we are assuming A to be here and B to be there and that is A cross B given by the right hand rule. So the direction here is given by right hand rule. So in this case it is coming out. So we'll just put a dot here. It means it's coming out of the page and we're assuming it is A cross B. It's kind of like this. Okay. Right. So that is how we are going to do such kinds of questions. I hope you understand and appreciate it. Thank you and all the best.